Hello there guys, um, ok this will be my first book review uh, that I will be featuring um, on my blog and uh, on your book which will be posted on YouTube as well and I thought uh, it would be very apt um, as my blog is mostly about my interest in, uh, my, in my Blood Angels army which I'm forming at the moment that the first book um, I would rev review and that I have enjoyed um, and that is the Blood Angels Omnibus. Both books in the Blood Angels Omnibus by James Swallow um, are titled Deus and Carmine and Deus Sanguinius, or Sanguinus, depending on how you like to pronounce it. Now, I'm a huge Blood Angels fan, guys, so it's going to be difficult for me, um, having read this book and uh, actually enjoyed it quite a lot to not try and give too much away but I'll try to um, set the story a little bit just to sort of pique your interest just just you know well you can make your own judgments on it if you choose to read it but I'll, I'll start by reading the description on the back in an epic story of heroism corruption and betrayal battle brothers Rafen and Archeo find themselves pitied against each other in a battle for the very soul of their chapter. When Brother Archeo claims to be a reincarnation of Sanguinius, the Blood Angel's spiritual father, the message is clear. Follow me or die. Rafen kneels before Archeo and swears an oath of devotion, but the words are ashes in his mouth and in his heart. He knows that he and his brother will have a reckoning that only one of them will survive. Now, I would recommend this book, guys, to certainly to people who are Blood Angels fans. Um, I'd certainly recommend it to anybody that was getting into the Warhammer Forty Thousand novels for the first time, or or any of the the Black Library novels, Forty um, K or Fantasy. The main thing I liked about this book is that um, it shows the Blood Angels in a completely different light to the way they're normally shown. Uh, anybody that knows anything about Blood Angels will know that you know it's all about the the Red Thirst and the, and the Black Rage and and all the the fluff that goes with it. But for for people who don't really know anything about Space Marines, um, or they know about Space Marines but don't know any of the sort of background fluff with any of the individual chapters, um, it this book certainly doesn't paint them as Space Marines in just red armor, which is what some people still think the Blood Angels are. The story I found very slick and and very easy to read and. And James seems to paint a good picture in your mind as to how things appear uh, without overcomplicating things with uh, oversetting the scenario or being pr too descriptive and uh, complicating things with just too much fluff. I mean, I love fluff, but I think some books I've read, some some authors tend to sort of delve too much into it and I think the story tends to get sort of uh, swallowed up by it, certainly in, in the start of, of, of some books. But the I think the, the great thing about the way James has, has written it is that the story never gets bogged down, it, it just flows from the page into your mind. All in all guys, I give this a score of 4 blood drops out of 5.